to Brent's Anime News Corner for the week ending February 5th, 2011. Time for all of the anime and manga news. First off, the anime so delicately named Cat Shit 1 is now being streamed online legally, the English dub at least. So you can now go uh, on AnimeNewsNetwork.com. They have a link to the, the stream. You can go and, and watch, I believe, episode one, the, the first chunk of it, is available dub. And you can then go and get the DVD or Blu-ray. Meanwhile, uh, speaking of stuff put online, the new anime made by Gainax with cooperation from Subaru is now online. It's called Hokago no Pleiades. I don't know how you pronounce Pleiades in Japanese, so I'm not even going to try. It's Pleiades as in the star system. Uh, or the, the, um, yeah, the star system. NASA guy doesn't know stars. Anyway, so uh, you can see all four of the short anime episodes that they've done for that online. Again, go to AnimeNewsNetwork.com and uh, just type in Gainax Subaru, basically, and you'll, you'll get there. Um, now, it is all in Japanese. There's no English translation yet, but I'm sure that's coming from someone soon. Meanwhile, some sad news. Uh, the creator of Barefoot Gen has revealed that he has been in the hospital several times recently with lung cancer. Now, uh, Barefoot Gen is the autobiographical, semi-autobiographical story of his experiences as a survivor of the Hiroshima uh, atomic bomb drop in 1945. Um, and so he's confirmed that, yes, he is, he is battling lung cancer. Um, and so hopefully, here, here's hoping that he, he's got that worked out and he has many more productive years left. Uh, meanwhile, a professor in, at Keio University, I believe, uh, has published a paper saying that, um, yeah, Keio University has posted a discussion paper um, titled, Do Illegal Copies of Movies Reduce the Revenue of Legal Products? The Case of TV Animation in Japan. And the paper appears to suggest that in Japan, at least, uh, um, the availability of free versions of anime on YouTube and Winnie, which is sort of their version of, of um, uh, LimeWire and things like that, uh, actually don't hurt and indeed in, in many cases raise TV, anime, DVD sales. Now, to be clear, we're talking about Japan where otaku are a very different breed of, of animal than they are over here. Um, so it's, it's different dynamics over there. But uh, he basically looked at uh, a number of different series from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5DS... Gundam Double O, Vampire Knight, To Love Ru, uh, Macross Frontier, and Kodomo no Jikan. So a, a wide variety of series um, there. And according to his findings, um, a 1% increase in YouTube views correlated with a 0.25% increase in DVD sales. Um, and the effect was clear for programs that had already stopped airing on television. So apparently people were using YouTube to sort of supplement that, that TV broadcast that wasn't there anymore. So kind of interesting to see. Um, and again, don't use that as an excuse, though. Japan's different than, than, uh, than America, and to be honest, Japanese otaku are going to buy it anyway. They just do. Um, but it's definitely certainly interesting, and I'd love to see the science behind it. Moving on to some Funimation news, uh, Navarre announced a while back they were looking to, to uh, sell off Funimation, basically make it its own company separate from, from Navarre, and they were looking for other companies to offer. Uh, uh, how much they pay for Funimation, and they went. They've been going through that process, and they've they've announced that they have not received any adequate offers for Funimation. Apparently, there was some interest, but no one had you know, real money to put on the table. So uh, they're, they're at this point, they're basically planning to not do anything with Funimation and sort of let it let it sit there. Right now, Funimation status is, is basically an independent company within Navarre. Um, so that's where that stands right now. And, of course, someone may step forward soon and put in an offer, especially now that we know that there are no serious offers on the table. Maybe that'll uh, encourage a company to do it. Who knows? Meanwhile, Funimation's cable channel, uh, Funimation On Demand, I believe, is now available on Charter Cable Channel in, uh, uh, in the U.S. So if you have that, you can go. And there are several different bundles you can order for Funimation Anime. And then, uh, and also in anime news, this is just kind of an interesting item, uh, there's a, a trailer out for a new anime called Install, which is, you know, a guy has, an, has powers and he, he's on the run. Uh, it was created, written, and directed by the same guy who also voices the main character. So definitely a, uh, you know, someone with a, a distinctive creative vision that he's definitely pushing forward. So very interesting, called, again, Install, as in installing a program. So I'm curious to see where that goes. Moving on to some manga news, One Piece continues to be 
amazingly popular. The print run for volume 61 is scheduled for 3.8 million copies, just for the first print run. That is the most uh, for any manga volume ever. Yeah, One Piece is doing really well in Japan. Meanwhile, several uh, manga illustrators are starting work on a new line of novels that are trans uh, translations, in many cases new translations, of classic children's stories. So they're basically getting popular manga artists to draw cover illustrations and other sorts of illustrations for these novels to get kids reading cl good classic novels like Anne of Green Gables. Chika Umino, who did Honey and Clover, has done this lovely image for uh, Anne of Green Gables. And uh, so there's just lots of, of neat stuff out there that folks can, uh, you know, uh, uh, can, will hopefully be able to buy. And they're planning on doing uh, various Hans Christian Andersen tales. They're also going to be doing adaptations of actual manga. So uh, they're going to be actual novel versions of like One Piece and Kimi Nita Doke that uh, the kids can, can, can read. So quite interesting. We'll, we'll see where that goes. Um, meanwhile, moving over to just various miscellaneous news, uh, two teenagers, one 18, one 19, have been arrested for breaking into the school that was based, uh, that was used as the basis for the school in Kaon. Now, that school has reported a number of break-ins recently, and uh, two of these teenagers have been arrested. One had several previous convictions for stealing stuff around. Apparently, they were looking for figurines as well as several guitars and money. So, uh, at least several of these folks have been arrested. But folks, please don't do that. Especially because the school was an elementary school, so that's just even creepier. Meanwhile, in a story that's been continuing since forever, um, James Cameron has confirmed that he is still planning on doing Battle Angel Alita after he's done with Avatar 2 and 3. So, in a couple of decades, maybe, we'll see Battle Angel Alita, known as Dunham, over in Japan. Um, and, to be fair, he said that he's using Avatar as something of a test bed for what he wants to do with Alita, because Alita has a lot of androids who are losing limbs and lots of stuff going on. It's something that really needs to be that kind of combination CGI live action that he proofed out with Avatar. Um, so he definitely wants to take that approach, and so Avatar has taught him a lot of things that he can use on Battle Angel Alita. But he's still planning on doing it. Hopefully, maybe, one day. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, back over here in, um, uh, uh, in Con World, Anime Expo has announced they're going to start giving away prizes for cosplay. The, the, their cosplay events will actually have cash prizes. The, uh, the, the, the big winner will get 10000 bucks, and the total cash prize uh, give out amongst all of them, the total of all of them up is $25,000 to various cosplayers. That's pretty big. That's a lot of money to cosplayers. Moving on to some, some news from Tokyo Pop, they have mentioned uh, in some of their talks about light novels, which unfortunately light, their light novels are not selling very well. Um, although apparently the recent uh, Full Metal Panic light novel is doing better. But they have indicated the possibility of putting out their novels on e-readers and making them available in that way, which I think is a really good idea. Um, I'm, I'm more than happy to read light novels on a computer screen if I need to. Uh, and it's something I really don't need a physical book for. I mean, they're, they're short enough. Uh, and also, Tokyo Pop is planning to debut America's Greatest Otaku on Hulu. This is a sort of a quasi-documentary about various otaku. They went around and, and canvassed for otaku for this, uh, this show that will basically uh, look at otaku and, 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 and their lives and so forth. And so that will be available out there on Hulu. Uh, finally... Sort of a wacky news story, uh, a magazine in Japan called Weekly Gendai uh, posted this announcement saying that Tokyo MXTV was going to self-censor itself as a result of the Tokyo Youth uh, uh, Ordinance Bill Amendment, uh, the one that was restricting access to uh, basically lowly hentai. And um, so this anonymous source within Tokyo MXTV was telling this magazine that, oh, we're going to you know, not show as much anime, and we're going to censor what we have, and in fact, we're probably going to change our hiring guidelines so we don't hire as many otaku, and we'll ask questions on it, and change stuff, and all this stuff, and the reporter at Weekly Gendai was lapping all of this up and reported in this article, and then uh, the official blog and Twitter account for Tokyo MXTV said, no, that's, none of that's true. We're not planning on changing any of our stuff. We're not going to stop hiring otaku, or do, you know, 
try to not hide. No, that's ridiculous. So, uh, no, as it turns out, uh, the Tokyo Youth Bill Ordinance Amendment uh, is not affecting at least that TV station. And uh, that just shows that you, you that reporters check your sources. So those are the news stories from this week. And that's about it for this week. So thanks for joining us, jo joining me. See you next week.